Hello everybody, I'm here to show you my finale cake. This will be my final cake for the year. It's going to be pretty busy between now and Christmas, so this is my last one. Um, I've really enjoyed making these cakes this year. It all kicked off with me attending the Wilton classes in June, and uh, it just really stimulated me to make these cakes and um, eventually post them on YouTube for my family and friends who live uh, quite a distance from me and are not able to see these in person. So I want to thank my subscribers. I'm really surprised that I have any. Um, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me and it motivates me more to do to do more cakes. So I really appreciate your feedback, your your positive comments and subscribing. I really do appreciate that. I'm strictly doing this for fun and I have, like I said, I have friends and family that I'm doing this for so they can see the progress that I'm making and um, what I'm working on. Uh, in this picture you'll actually see some dogwood flowers that I made, um, I want to say a couple months ago or so. They came out pretty good except for the centers are a little bit big. I had to Google what the actual centers look like and so now I know I'll be able to do a better job next time. And then at the where the eye is on the finale, um, that's a carnation. And this uh, cake right here is actually a pin cushion, so whenever I do fondant, I have my pins handy to pop out the bubbles. So I saw this and made this, um, it was off of somebody's website, and it's just, a, it's just felt, but it looks like a cake. I thought it turned out really cute. So anyways, let me set this video up for you. First of all, this cake is for my husband's birthday. His birthday was in October. I know, it's like two and a half months have passed. Uh, we got some unexpected news and so I had to stop working on his cake. I did start working on it. So we had this, I had to stop working on the cake. And so in between then I was making other cakes as you see from my other videos and I hadn't made his cake and so he asked me, well, you're making all these other cakes, when are you going to finish mine? So I decided before the end of the year was up that I need to finish and do his cake for him. So I didn't want to carry it over to the next year. That would be odd because he'll have a birthday that year. So anyways, I'm going to set this up. Um, my husband is a huge movie fan. I think uh, we all are, but um, we love to sit at home and watch movies. We have movie night every Friday night. And um, so we love comedies. And so um, I basically made a cake that symbolized one of the movies that he really enjoys or we both really enjoy so I'm going to do a 360 on the cake without talking and then I'll walk you through all the things that I did to the cake okay so here it is First of, all, first of all, let me tell you that this is a vanilla cake that I made from scratch. I've never made a cake from scratch. I usually use the box mixes and doctored them up. This is a recipe from Cake Boss. He was on the Rachel Ray show last week or so. And so I downloaded the recipe and tried it. It actually, I mean, it tastes really, really good. It's a pretty dense cake, so um, I didn't have any problems with the weight. Everything uh, on top of the cake as far as it supporting the weight. Uh, very tasty cake. Um, some some things I've never done before let me point out to you I've never made a sheet cake this is a huge cake it's 11 by 15 inches it's a Wilton pan and um, I've never made anything this big before I actually torted this cake I've never done that I've never torted a sheet cake actually I needed some additional height and thought I was going to get it from that no that didn't work out I'll never tort a sheet cake again that was ridiculous the worst thing I've ever done. Um, I've never made these figurines. 
and all the figurines that you see here are made from homemade gum paste I got a recipe off of somebody on YouTube I think it was Tone Edna's it's an awesome recipe so all the figurines everything you see on this cake is handmade every single thing except for the letters of course these are cutouts but every single thing is handmade I've never used the mat before I think it's called Sweetwise um, that's where I purchased the mat it's like 20 bucks and um, it's the best money I think I've ever spent to roll out the fondant it's awesome um, I've never added a ribbon to the board and I had to hot glue three boards together to support the weight of this cake this cake weighs about a thousand pounds I kid you not it's very heavy <laughs> um, I've never trimmed out the cake board so I don't have fondant all the way underneath the cake it's just on the perimeter of the cake so I've never done that before so there's a lot of first time things on this cake quite a few challenges uh, my biggest thing was tightening up the corners getting them nice and crisp my corners weren't even to begin with and getting the fondant pretty smooth it doesn't really look bad on the camera but up close and personal you can see some lumps and bumps um, but it's still overall it's not too bad there's some dents and little dings and stuff for my fingers but other than that I think uh, for the first time doing a cake like this I mean I'd give myself an A I really would you learn as you go and uh, that's how you get better so I know what to do for the next time um, I couldn't tell you how long it took me to do all this because I did this in stages the gum paste I did in stages just do a little bit at a time and um, I don't know what else to say uh, basically my husband is sitting in a living room or theater room and we don't have a theater room but um, and so I gave it like a drive-in type of feel I don't know what happened to drive-ins but they were a lot of fun and I put the little owl on the top of the sign and they're watching the movie Joe Dirt that's one of the movies that we really like um, and then I added our dog here she almost looks like this she's tan and white she's got spots on her like that and she's got her bone and her frisbee and she's watching the movie with him and the three pumpkins there I have relatives that have birthdays in the month of October so I just added that in just for um, a little symbolic touch my husband loves popcorn he eats it every night and so I made him a bowl and even the little popcorn kernels which you can't really see because this camera doesn't focus and his soda and there's a little plant I don't know what you'd call that I guess a fantasy plant um, just to add something to the little living room he's sitting in here's a quote life's a garden dig it that's one of the big quotes in the movie there's a lot of good quotes and then say it don't spray it brother dang <laughs> that's another quote um, but this is a, a challenging cake but I had a good time doing it and I just want to say something to those of you that feel like you know you're going to spend twenty dollars and expect somebody to crank out a cake like this or thirty or forty fifty bucks there is no way you're absolutely out of your mind after doing this cake my respect for cake artists went up tenfold these are works of art it takes time labor wear and tear in your car to get the supplies gasoline your electricity to run the mixers and your ovens that's where the cost of the cakes come from you have to take in all those factors um, it's a lot of work and I'm doing this for fun I'm not selling these or making these for profit at all um, I'm doing these and I'm learning as I go so maybe at some point I will sell these cakes but right now I'm just having fun learning trial and error um, doing these strictly for fun look at the bowl haircut I gave him <laughs> um, I have to work on the hair 
or hair pieces. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm doing these for fun. I'm having a good time doing it. So uh, I just want to wish you all a happy holiday and um, a prosperous new year. Hopefully 2012 will be much better to you. If you had a great 2011, that's great. You can probably hear the baby crying in the background, which means I need to wrap it up. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for my subscribers. I really appreciate you. And just, you know, have fun doing these cakes. I didn't think this cake was going to come together. I was kind of panicked a little bit, but it worked out great. So you'll really be surprised. You'll surprise yourself. So anyway, take care, guys. Gotta run. Happy New Year. Bye.